All right, we're gonna put the bearing in now. Um, bearing goes in with the little letters. Can you see that? Sure can. All right, they go up. Well, they go on the side you press on. In this case, we're pressing on this side. Now, this guy is large enough that's gonna stop on this shelf. Gotcha. So when I push that bearing in, I want those two things flush. Now, the manual, I think, says put it 24 thousandths below flush, but I don't like doing that. Sounds like it's there. That sounds like it's it. Looks flush, and if you look close now, you can see that there's openings for all the All the drains. oil. Yep. That one. And the earlier ones we showed where it wasn't open, right? Yeah, well, no. What, what happens is these these drilled holes like this one walk towards the center sometimes, and you'd end up with no opening showing. The bearing sh closes it off. Got you. All right, so then the center race goes in. That thing looks pretty good. No oil yet. And at this point, yeah, I'm good with that. At this point, now, wait a minute, the hub is going to hit up against this thing. Let's make sure we're going this the way we like it. You wanted to show that aluminum washer. Yeah. Okay, so this. Nope, actually, you know what? I'm going to have to push that thing in a little more. Because I got a feeling that this guy. This is just a rough measurement, calipers. Three, 375. 370. 370. Okay, now. So that means that that area of that hub can come down into... 20. Got a pencil over here if that helps. 20. Okay. That means that this diameter could, in theory, start dragging on this area. Mm -hmm. That's high here. So maybe I'm going to push this in until I'm almost flush with that guy. Now I wonder if that's the 24 thousandths. Let's find out. No, it's 50 something. So apparently, oh, wait a minute. Let's measure that again, because that sure don't look like 50. Fifty. Hmm. My eye is not good anymore. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drive that in just a smidgen more. Yeah, I am. Let's see if I can figure out about what size socket I'm going to need for this thing. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That might do it. No, it's a little big, right? Yeah, it's a little bit too big. 630. So the outside of that bearing must be 625. Okay. Have to jaw. Get. 
scratch. Well, there we go. Got it? I, I'm your freaking huckleberry. I'm your freaking huckleberry right there, right? Oh, that's a beauty. Pick save okay. and a beauty. Pick save and a beauty. Can we oh. I'll make sure your sockets are clean because you don't want any grit in that freaking bearing. That's good. That's gonna be good. All right, so the bearings in, now the only last thing to do, look, the original freaking 59 aluminum lock tab. Guys are even too cheap to put a new lock tab in. Okay, um, so the only thing left is to get our seal in here. And uh, I'll drive the seal in. You see a little taper there? I do. Can you? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, that helps you get your seal in. Make sure you don't got any high spots in there to rip the seal. I generally put some kind of glop on it so it's easier to slide in. A little bit of oil, a little bit of grease. Um, the seals I use are rubber on all, rubber cased all the way. If you're using one that's uh, got a metal casing out here, you might want to put some sealing on it before you stick it in there. Make sure you get some grease or oil on all your stuff before you put your seal in because you ain't going to get in there after. And... Uh, Let's move on to doing something else on this bike now.